My Lord, there are, my Lord, there are three ways to cut a deficit. You can raise taxes, you can cut spending, or you can try and grow the economy so that the deficit falls in proportionate terms. I have to say I'm astonished by how quickly a consensus formed on all benches here and in another place that the first of those was the correct option, because raising taxes is not a long-term solution to a debt and deficit problem. Essentially, the the higher you raise the tax, the more you find that you're squeezing the revenue-producing bit of the economy to sustain the revenue-consuming bit, and people change their behaviour in consequence. When tax rates get to a certain level, people will begin to work shorter hours, to take earlier retirements, or indeed to move their activities to friendlier jurisdictions. And this is, by the way, not some uh, abstruse point of Chicago school economics that's never been tried. We saw in practice that cutting tax rates leads to greater revenue. We saw it with the successive cuts in corporation tax to 19%, each successive reduction leading to more income for the Treasury. So instead of raising taxes, we should be looking intelligently to cut taxes, especially taxes on employment and investment, to get companies hiring again. I'd have liked to have seen cuts in national insurance, both for the employer and for the employee. If we get the economy growing, we get more people at work, we get them earning and paying taxes, we're shelling out less, then left to itself, the, the, the deficit will dwindle and fade.